sound track.
Litany of Gratitude After the COVID Pandemic Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely and impatient during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. To you be glory, now and forever. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today is a Friday of Lent, a time when we recall the suffering of Jesus through our fasting, abstinence, prayer, and almsgiving. But we are also reminded today that, th that this suffering of Jesus is a suffering born out of love. May we love even in suffering. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord 
for His pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, thinking not aright, Let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God and styles himself as a child of the Lord. To us, he is the censure of our thoughts. Merely to see him is a hardship for us because his life is not like that of others and different are his ways. He judges us debased. He holds aloof from our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just and boasts that God is his Father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred, for their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God. Neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, He saves. 
Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He watches over all his bones. Not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judea because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, You know me and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him because his hour had not yet come. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. And good morning to the students of St. Jude Catholic School, Tatya Hao. As we reflect this Friday of Lent, on the suffering of Jesus, we are reminded also on how we have to handle and experience also suffering. In our first reading today from the Book of Wisdom, we see that the evil people would want the good person to suffer so that, according to them, they can break his patience so that they can shake the will of the good person. They said, let us make him suffer and let us see if he will still remain good even if he is already suffering. 
Let us see if we will, He will continue His mission of loving even if He is already suffering. This is an example of what they will do to Jesus. The evil people would want Jesus to suffer and so break His will, break His spirit. But we will see that suffering did not break Jesus because suffering will not break love. And this we hear in our gospel reading today when Jesus went to Jerusalem and faced the people who are trying to kill him. They thought that Jesus will be afraid of those who will try to kill him and make him suffer. But no, Jesus was strengthened always by love. Suffering will not break him. Suffering will not shake his will because suffering will not break love. Dear students, do you also suffer? You know, I also studied in Chinese school in Chiang Kai-shek College from kinder to high school. So, I know also your suffering. <laughs> For those who did not study in Chinese school here, when you study in Chinese school, you always have two subjects. In the morning, you study the ordinary uh, subjects in English and Filipino, but in the afternoon, you will study again all of them in Chinese. No? So you remember your subjects. No? We study Huayi, Shushe, Zhonghe. Are those still the sub subjects today? You have to memorize Mo nian, tuai pu tuai, no, biak biam, biak sia, mo nian, mo sia. So I still remember those because I suffered also, no, learning those and memorizing those words. But you see, my dear students, even if we suffer in studying. We do not surrender. Why? Because we study out of love. We love our parents so that we could study even if it entails suffering. I can see your teachers here. They also suffer when you do not listen to them. But you see, your teachers still love you even if they suffer sometimes because of you. Because suffering will not break love. In fact, suffering strengthens love. Your parents will not get tired of working just to make you study in a good school because they love you. Even if they get tired of working the whole day, they are willing to suffer and suffering will not break them because they love you. Suffering does not break love. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Eucharist, let us look at Jesus on the cross. 
he also suffered. But suffering did not break him because suffering will not break love. Amen. Please stand. As we journey through life, let us pray for the courage to speak and work for the truth. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That members of the church may strive to spread the good news of Jesus throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That by contemplating on Jesus' suffering on the cross, persons may turn from unbelief to faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may be at peace with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the poor may experience the healing and loving presence of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may finally enjoy the peace of the heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father in heaven, you sent your Son to suffer for us. Grant that through our faith in him, we may struggle against unbelief in ourselves and in the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As brothers and sisters in the Lord Jesus, we now call on God as our loving Father. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a few announcements. We have already released the Holy Week schedule here at the Manila Cathedral for this year, 2023. And uh, the detailed schedule of the Manila Cathedral will be posted already on our uh, Facebook page and other social media pages. So, uh, on Palm Sunday, we have uh, our regular Masses at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and uh, 6 p.m. The 10 a.m. Mass will be celebrated by our beloved Archbishop, Cardinal Advincula. Also, on Holy Monday, Holy Tuesday, and Holy Wednesday, Aside from our schedule of regular Masses at 7.30 a.m. and 12.10 p.m., also for this Holy Week, we will be having a more intensive schedule of the Sacrament of Confession so that pilgrims who will be visiting the cathedral will avail of the Sacrament of conf Confession or Reconciliation. For Holy Monday to Wednesday, our confession will be at 9 a.m. to 12 noon and also 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Also, on Holy Thursday and Good Friday, almost the whole day, we will be having the celebration of the Sacrament of Confession. You can see the details for Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday and Easter Sunday on our social media pages. So for those who are watching us online also, please follow our social media pages so that you will be updated of all our schedule and activities here at the Manila Cathedral. And for the students of St. Jude Catholic School, I have a gift for you. Did you know that there is a St. Jude Chapel inside the Manila Cathedral? So since you study in St. Jude Catholic School, I will ask our staff to open the St. Jude Chapel for you, which is at the back of the cathedral towards your right. And you can come inside that chapel and pray in front of the image of St. Jude in that beautiful chapel. Let us now all stand and receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look upon your servants, O Lord, and in your goodness protect with heavenly assistance those who trust in your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
Thank you.